I swear, it's this one, but I swear I just heard a thump. I swear I heard a thump. Here we go. Oh my gosh, it's 11.40. It's 11.41 even. I don't know what I'm doing to this one. I don't know what I'm doing. We just need to find the mirror one, and then we should be fine. Done! You know, guys, I keep hearing weird knocks at my window. Like, it's literally right there, and I keep hearing... Now you see what? There it is again. Literally, there it is again. I don't know what it is. Like, like, is there a man there? Is there a man in the window? Or is he coming from the window? Well, no, no, no. He's, he's just coming to kill you. So sorry. Huh. Well, suppose that's that then, isn't it? Welcome back to the video. My name is Josh. And today we are checking out Zed Technician's new game called No Strings Attached. It's his new take on the man from the window thing that happened a few months ago and it was pretty good. Never played it, but played the other one. We're playing this one now, so let's go. <laughs> Well, that was weird. It span across both my monitors, which was a little bizarre, I will be quite frank. And it has no full screen. There we go, full screen. Sound volume, crank that all the way up. Ambient volume, crank that all the way up. Let's click the start button. So no strings attached. We got a cutscene, though. Hey, ma'am, how are you doing? You're just you're sleeping on the job, ma'am. You shouldn't be doing that. Oh, oh, flipping egg, man. What, what, what's happening? Christ almighty, they've literally been obliterated. Okay, who's making all that dang racket, huh? Keep it up and I'll put you out on the streets. Don't go thinking out well now. Making all that noise when I'm trying to nap. Who in their right mind? Wait. Uh-oh. There ain't no guests in here tonight. Well, ma'am, we have a slight issue. You're walking through the, the halls. All right, whoever or whatever is in here, you'd better listen up and listen good, too. She has free eyes. I only just realized. You can stay, you can leave. Don't matter so much to me. But wake me up again and we're gonna have problems. Got it? Yes, ma'am. Got you, ma'am. I will, I promise. We have a gift. We have been sent a random gift. Open me. What, what kind of darn fool do you make do you make me for? Do you take me for? I ain't opening that. Okie smokey, so uh, open me. Yeah, I mean, it looks like the hand. We were given a hand. Shoot. <sighs> well, shoot, what am I shooting? Find the clue, then open your gift. Remain unmade. I remain unmade. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Smoky, smoky. So we have to go around each room. It's a broom closet. All right, so probably not that one then. Can I go? Oh, nice yes. Shot. Look at this. We got the double bed. We got the microwave, though. We got the bathroom, eh? How you doing, ma'am? You... By the way, guys, if you enjoy these sort of casual episodes, you know what to do. Leave a like. I appreciate you. Okey smokey. So what's this? Room VIII. -I, I think that means eight. I think that means eight. So room eight. Oh, my gosh. We got the oranges on deck, though. Can I take an orange? It is 11.06 p.m. We found another parcel, though. Wrong one. Uh-oh. Spaghetti. Oh, wait, 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 wait. As the intruder closes the disc between himself and Maggie, a single deafening thud reverberates throughout the night. Then all fell silent once more. Dot, dot, dot. Not long after, the intruders were dropped off at a local hospital by Maggie. That's a spot of bother, isn't it? You know what, right? That's fine, then we'll go again. We just need to try and find the gift, so let's check this one. Uh, there is a gift in here, but I, do, we, do we just have to keep checking each and every single one? Or is there a certain mechanic we have to check first? Uh, but hurry for a midnight, I will come to find you. Eight missing legs. Eight missing... Wait, maybe this is room eight. There's clues on the... There's clues on these, isn't there? There's clues on the little packages. By the way, guys, I have a war wound at the moment, and it's making it very hard to press the D key. But hurry for at midnight, I will come to find you. Eight missing legs. 11.05. So maybe we have to go to room eight this time. So let's try and find room eight. So that's, that's this one, isn't it? I'm pretty sure that's this one. So is this right? I hope this is right. Am I doing that? I'm not doing this right. Uh, find the clue. It's dark outside. So if it's dark outside, do I have to go outside? Is, is this something I have to do? Like, re realistically, do I just wander outside? Hello? Uh, the, the door seems to be locked. So this is number two. Uh, there's a candle in here, which isn't lit. So maybe that... Does that indicate anything? Because it said they were dark out, and it's, it's dark in every room, I assume. <laughs> I think this is uh, room three. Uh, you know what? I'm going to take the hit. I'm going to die again, but I'm going to try this. This is the wrong one. Whoa. I can't figure it out. I can't. Uh, find the clue, then open the get Lost signal. Lost signal. So that's... That's got to be a TV, right? That's got to be the TV that was staticking up that I opened last time. Oh, all right. All right. You know what? All I got to do is find a TV which is staticking up, which I think is this one. No, it's not. I'm wrong. So it has to be lost signal. The t It has to be the TV. I'm sorry. 
It can literally be nothing else. The, 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 the TV is the only thing that can lose signal. Lovely establishment is fuzzing up this one. It has to be you. Come on, be Perfect. right. But hurry, for a midnight, I will come to find you. Vitamin C? Well, where do I find vitamin C? Like, wait, am I looking for literally just a box of vitamin C? To be fair, though, it could actually be one of the rooms where the package is actually just lingering in the bathroom. That would be a helping hand. But it, will it do that? No, it might do that. Aha! There we go, maybe. I honestly, I honestly wholeheartedly believed it was that one then, and I am very annoyed, and we are dead. We have died. You know, guys, you know, you know, vitamin C, do you know what it resides in? It resides in, um, resides in oranges. It, res it resides in oranges. So, you know, you, you know, when I saw the oranges in that run room and I, I didn't do anything to it, uh, yeah, that was that, right here is where I needed to go for the vitamin C one. So, I don't know what we do about the, uh, the, 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 the it's dark outside one. I'm, this is the one I'm on now. Can I open this box no so it's not gonna be this room my mouse is messing up once more like there's no place which is dark and i i, I know there is a time limit which is the problem because if, if i take too long in trying to find stuff out then it is a death sentence for me but like truly i don't know where the it's dark out one goes like every room has lights on their electricity bill must be about 50 grand a month but like that's fine going what happened to you buddy what happened to this mirror i have uh, no idea and it's it, not my problem you know what it is not my problem i'm actually gonna take the hit and try and go with this one aha I'm wrong. eight missing legs and I'm, I'm am i looking for a spider i have no idea i could be or i could not be i, I thought it might have been the candle but it's not and i'm 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 not, I'm truly not sure what I'm looking for. Hang on guys, hang on guys, hang on guys. Eight, eight missing legs. The chair. We're looking for just the room with a table in. Not this one, we don't want to go in this one. Not this one either, I'm getting mugged off here and not this one. Apparently it's not any room, so that's just grand my friend. That is just grand, is it here? This one, here we go. There we, this should be right. But hurry for it's dark outside. I don't know this one. I don't know this one. Unless it's, unless it's the broom closet. It's not, it's not the broom closet. All right, cool. Unless it's something to do with genuinely just the lights in a room. Like if we just look around, like these all have the blinds on, if you see. These all have blinds on apart from this one. So maybe, there we go. We just got to find the blurry TV. So we've got two of them down, three, three of them down. <laughs> this one, no. I sw it's this one, but I swear I just heard a thump. I swear I heard a thump. Here we go. Losing track of time. The sand timer. There was a, there's like an egg timer in one of the rooms. It's not this one. I don't want to mess with that one right now. Uh, that is not the one. Is it this one? There we go. So it's got to be this one. It's a loaf of bread. <laughs> All right, guys, I have taken a 10-minute coffee break, and I'm back, and I'm pretty sure I understand all the riddles. This one I get, and it, 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 it's, it's more just my brain clocking on to how life works and how riddles operate in the real world. Oh, my gosh, I don't know where it is. There we go. So it's this room. There we go. Losing, lost signal. Now we got to go find that TV, and I'm pretty sure the TV one was up top because of the, it, may, it might have been. It might not have been. Uh, uh, um, unhearted food. Unheated food. Um, uh, oh dear. It's 11.29. I am running out of time. I am actually running out of time. Unheated food? I don't know what, I don't know what I can use as unheated food. I truly don't. Like, is there anything in here that's showing like a, a sandwich? Uh, maybe like a, 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 a bowl of cereal. Would that, would that suffice, ma'am? No? Oh my gosh, it's 11.40. It's 11.41 even. I don't know what I'm doing for this one. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't, I have no idea what I'm doing for this one. I, I'm, I'm going to, I'm so worried. Like, there's nothing. Whoa, 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 no, 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 don't be doing this to me, game. Don't be doing this. I'm so close, bro. Please don't. This one says 12 p.m. This one says 11.48. Which one do I believe? We I truly, I truly don't know what I'm looking for. I don't know what I'm looking for. I'm sorry. I don't know. Unheated food? Is should it be in the... Can I open the fridges? We have eight minutes and I can't solve this. This is just bread. Hear me. You know, I, I might just have to accept what's coming my way. You know what I'm going to do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna shut this door, I'm gonna shut this door, I'm gonna stand right here until my de utter demise appears. Yep, this is where we're remaining, I'm gonna kick it back, 
Ow, my finger! I'm gonna kick it back and relax until we die, and then I... And then afterwards, you know what? We'll actually beat this. Oh, here we go. I was gonna say I think, but once the clock had finally struck midnight, the front door slowly began to open. Uh-oh, who's coming in? Hello? Oh. <laughs> well, I don't know what that is, but sure. How you doing, buddy? The intruder slowly made his way down the hallway, intently searching for the building's single occupant. His search was cut short, however, a single defending the rang through the night. So we survive anyway. What's the point? It doesn't matter if we die or lose. I, I'm, I'm very lost here. Like, let's think since bread. There we go. Iron Man unmade. Oh, I don't actually know this one. Iron Man un... Oh, a bed. A bed. Yeah, oh, it's, it's the bed one. It's a bed one. So we got to look for a bed which has not been... Which has not been made. All right, that's fine then. I remain on maids. So we just gotta look for a bed which is a little scruffy, and there we go. And hasn't been made all day. Losing track of time. We gotta find the one that doesn't have the clonk. This is the one. There we go. It's dark outside. We know this one too. We just gotta find the one that has the window open, which is I don't know which one that is. Burn it at both ends. A candle. Where's the candle one? Where is Mr. Candleman? Candle bro. Candle buddy. I need your assistance. Unheated food. I re whoa, 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 What is this? 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 It's only it's only twenty past. It's only twenty past eleven. What do I do? All right, pal. Why has it gone into some sort of demonic realm? I'm I'm very confused and I'm very scared and I'm very lost. What am I meant to be doing? I'm on that unheated food one again. So this is where we probably die once more, the seventy fifth time. This one. Ah. I don't like it, man. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Like, what is this one? What? This is the TV one. This is the TV one. We don't need to worry about that one. There we go. A second box. All right, so the unheated food one is just, it's sat on a table. I don't need to worry about it. We're getting towards the end, and I'm a little worried because we've gone into some sort of demonic universe that I don't want to deal with and I'm not going to deal with because it is probably going to get me endlessly murdered over and over and over again. So where's the mirror one? Is it this one? It's not this one. I don't know where the mirror one is. So we just need to find the mirror one and then we should be fine and done! There was something in the bathroom, guys. He was just taking a shower or signal. Yeah, bro, I will do. Don't worry, I'll find your signal one for you. But he was just taking a shower. Open the closet. Oh, here we go. So we got to open the closet right at the beginning. The broom closet, I think it was called. We just got to smack it open and see what happens, yeah? Okie smoky. Let's open this closet. I'm going to have my, my fists up ready to fight. Well, that wasn't exactly what I expected. Why are you in there, my man? What are you doing? I've I've got you now. I, I, dot, dot, dot. Hey, w w wait a minute. You're not Jimmy. What? You're not Jimmy. He was supposed to be here and you're not him. So you, you, you're telling me you were haunting me and you weren't even meant to be haunting me? You, you, you're joking? He lives right here at 9189 Zara Lane. But this is 68816 Zara Lane. Crap, I'm at the wrong house. Oh, buddy, boy, man. Boy, you better start explaining what in the heck's going on before I decide to knock you upside the head. Uh-oh, here we go. I, I, we're rather about to fight him or get an explanation. We've sat him down and we're having a conversation. So yeah, I'd live down in the Moonwater commune with my brothers and sisters. His voice has changed. Yesterday, this guy shows up and he's all like, I want to cut this tree down and take it home to use for decoration. <gasps> and we tell him, no, that's our sacred trees. Don't take that one. But then he starts chopping it down anyway. And I'm there, you know. I'm 100% ready to start throwing what? punches right then and there. <laughs> but then the Grand Elder shows up and goes, No, Philip, you mustn't do that. So I waited until everyone left and then tracked this, that guy down. Turns out his name was Jimmy. My plan was to just scare him a little bit. You know, I wasn't going to hurt him or anything. It didn't seem that way. It seemed like you were trying to kill me at the end whenever I died. But if you... But then I went to the wrong address. So, yeah, sorry about that. Anyways, I gotta go find Jimmy now. Are you crazy or something? You can't just go do that. You can't just go barge into folks' homes, boy. You could get hurt or worse. Whoa, my man is literally coming out with the punches. But what about Jimmy? Forget about him. I know you're too young and headstrong and stupid to realize it now. Alright, love, let's... 
calm it down, yeah? But you can't just take matters into your own hands like that. There's a right way to go about these things, and then there's the wrong way too. I shouldn't have to tell you that breaking and entering definitely ain't the right way. Thank you for finally being the responsible one. But enough of that. I've had enough of dealing with you and your nonsense for tonight. So get lost and let me sleep in peace. And don't let me catch you doing something stupid like this again, you hear? Yeah. Okay, thanks, miss. And he was a pretty understanding guy, actually. He was a... Oh, and off he goes. Tr trotting off with his hooves on the floor. And we are finally going to get our snooze that we've been waiting for for an hour now. And here we go. Are we going? I think we got our snooze. I d we got our snooze, at least. Like, and we got a single star. But we got our sleep, so I'm happy, and I'm excited, and I'm loving life, and I'm going to bed. Well, guys, that was Zed Technician's new game, No Strings Attached. It reminded me heavily, I mean, of course it did, of the other games. You know, the man from the window and the, uh, the, the other one. I think you ran a motel or a diner, and you had to... And the guy came in trying to kill- I can't remember the- I'll put it on screen so you know what I'm talking about. However, this new one he's made was- it was different, kind of. It was- it was semi the same, of course it was, but why- why try and fix a formula that isn't broke? But I died many times, and that was due to my own stupidity and idiocracy, because I couldn't work out riddles. <laughs> However, guys, that is going to be the end of today's video. If you enjoyed, how about leaving a like? And hey, maybe even sticking around and subscribe. You never know. It could be fun. Other than that, guys, I'm going to clear off your screen now. Have a safe night.